secret of this evening is Damien Evans. Now, tonight, preliminary steps have been made towards the much anticipated bipartisan parliamentary talks with Azimio Laomoja One Kenya Coalition naming a seven member team that will spearhead negotiations on its behalf in the 14 member ad hoc committee. Names of the substantive minority leaders were conspicuously missing from the resolutions of the Azimio Parliamentary Group meeting held in Machakos County. Senate's Deputy Minority Leader Eno Kwambua and Minority Whip Ledana Owalekina are expected to lead the Azimio side, as KTN's political affairs reporter Emmanuel To now reports. Azimio leader Raila Odinga has laid down eight terms of reference for the committee, including arresting the runaway cost of living and opening of the electoral body IEBC servers. Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition is now waiting for the signal from the Kenya Kwanza side as it took the first step in naming its seven member team of legislators who will negotiate on behalf of the party in the bipartisan parliamentary process proposed by President William Ruto. The Azimio Parliamentary Group meeting held in Stony Earth in Machakos County, resolving to have four names drawn from the National Assembly and three from the Senate. Narok Senator Ledamo Lekina, who also doubles up as the minority's whip, his deputy Nairobi Senator Edwin Sifuna, and the deputy minority leader Kitui Senator Eno Kwambua, made it to the cut, representing Azimio senators. In the National Assembly, all house leadership gave way, with the four slots going to Malindi MP Amina Mnyazi, Suba North Legislator Milio Diambo, Pokot South MP David Kosing, and Rarieda MP Otienda Amolo. Both house minority leaders were snubbed. The Azimio coalition reiterates its call for a genuine, inclusive national dialogue outside the, the, the constrictions of parliament in order to achieve the intended goals. The opposition leader, Raila Odinga, quick to lay down the terms of reference to the committee, top on the least reduction of the cost of living and opening of the independent electoral and boundaries commission servers. Conduct a review and forensic audits of the servers used by the IBC before, during, and after the 2022 presidential election. Odinga also wants an end to party hopping to entrench party discipline across board. Requiring MPs who cross party lines after the elections to seek a fresh mandate from the electorate. <laughs> and two, to allow parties to replace nominated MPs who cross party lines. Bibiria ilichuka, lakini kama ilikaa juu, sakayo wako juu, uchuri wako juu, kila kiko. Those things cannot be part of our negotiating. They cannot be what we are going to sit and discuss. At the same time, the opposition also defended its request to expand the negotiation teams to one akin to the 2008 National Accord. One of the authors of handshake is none other than President Mr. William Samoy Ruto. So we are talking of a process in neutral grounds, parliamentarians negotiating neutral grounds, and behind them will be the two sides. And that is why we are saying open the Saba. Ukifungua Saba, itaonyesha mkate ni anani. The seven-member team will now hold a meeting to come up with a chairperson who will be a co-chair of the 14-member committee once the Kenya Kwanza side releases their lineup after it holds a PG meeting on Tuesday next week. <laughs> this comes